Ay, ay. I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me Never need no push, I do it all for me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Look, papa don't preach, teachers don't teach, niggas gon' reach, that's facts I ain't worried about none of that shit, I'm making that cash day Bunch of O's like NASCAR, but it's really more like NASDAQ Why they thinking that they hot shit when they really more like ass crack? Quarter on me like a referee, niggas hating what they'll never be Small top with a big bottom, yeah, shot the shape like a letter D Let her have it, then I let her be If you love it, gotta let it grow Crazy cause you really never know When I'm hurting, never let it show I'm a two-tone, two-phone, two-chain New thing lame, whether you a broke ass, low class, no cash, certified lame Nigga, I been getting to it like I ought to, couldn't pick so I bought two Understand why your chick came, I'm just trying to figure why she brought you I'm really reppin' and I'm flexed up, and I ain't gotta tell them I'm next up Sleep on a the nigga, they rest up, but I'm up and I'm getting my checks up Me and the fellas be high propellers, ain't shit you could tell us we great nigga Looking at niggas like, how do you figure, unless you been talk about a figures I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me Never need no push, I do it all for me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Look how we litty, we turned up the city, we raising the bar height I been finessing, just look at them stressing, yeah, they been up all night Sipping this water with somebody, daughter, she take what I taught her and build on it Came in this game on that shit that they ain't in a couple years later, we still on it Niggas be hating on it, bitches be waiting on it like a new season I better acre on it, I put some paper on it like I'm loose leafing Buying them assets, build me a cash net, I can fall in Look at my last bit, ain't got a tiptoe, ho, I'm all in They gonna level, they can't fail, and I roll me a J with the hate mail Been doing good on the merch sale, all this bread on me look like a bake sale Tell her your nigga what's really good, I be really good on a jaw jack Send an email about the bread, I'ma hit you back with the call back I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me Never need no push, I do it all for me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call What tire setup should you run? Strictly axe wheels and best tires We got a jump set of tires in here, but the rest are pretty great so we're gonna go ahead and show you basically from least expensive uh, to most expensive why. Um, and quality is not an issue with these wheels. Least expensive is still a really good quality wheel. I've ran everything from axe, from cast wheels to uh, the compression forge, which is a, should be a forged barrel, um, and then the fully forged. So we're gonna run through all of them. I got a set of each here. Uh, and then you guys can decide which ones you like best, which ones you wanna order. If you do want to order a set and you're local, hit me up. If you're not local, I can drop ship them to you too as well. So we will have them on the website once it's up. It's taken forever. You can thank that lady behind the camera because uh, it's almost been a year. Actually, it's been over a year. So let's get started. Cut. Starting at the more affordable wheels. Here we have a 22 by 12 Axe Artemis and Chrome. Okay, the Chrome is absolutely beautiful. They're not plated like all the other all the other companies where they're you know wrapped with uh, what is that called tin foil and then plated like that and heated. That's why they peel really bad. These aren't like that. These are actually dipped, from what I understand. Uh, I'm not positive, so don't mark my words. Um, this is a setup that's probably gonna end up going on the race truck before I sell it. It's a 3322. Um, these are Dino Trail Grapplers. Great, great tires. Absolutely love them. I run them on damn near everything. Okay. So, oh, I should figure out how much these were. I'll put it uh, up here for each one. I'll go like this and then I'll like pop up right here. So I'll put them up here for each one. How much these wheels cost? No tires. Tires, I don't care what they cost because they're not axe. So, but anyways, I'll go right here. Right there. Okay, next set. <laughs> we have a set of axe off road, another off road series cast wheel. 
These are the Hades in a 22 by 12 gloss black and milk. Okay, again, awesome wheel, awesome finish. Um, junk ass tires. Do not buy these. I got these on a deal. They're like brand new to put on a truck I'm selling. Um, they're amp MTs. They are loud as hell. They're soft. Uh, they wear funny. So um, I just ended up having bought this set and realizing how much they suck ass. And I will never buy another set. So um, again, the price for these 22 by 12 Hades glass black and milk will be right here. Um, and again, all these prices are before tax and before shipping. So keep that in mind. Everyone always thinks the price they see. You know, you go to customoffsets.com and oh, these guys are fifty-three hundred dollars for this middle entire set. Okay, well then add your tax and add your shipping. They do free shipping, but add your tax and it's a lot more than you think. So thirty-five twenty-two. It's actually metric. It's a three twenty-five fifty twenty-two, but it's literally a thirty-five twenty-two. Next, we have another 22 by 12 Artemis wheel. These are all satin black, 100% full black, no milling. Uh, these are going on my sister's truck. These look amazing. Um, again, another another Nitto tire, Ridge Grapplers. Absolutely love them to death. They're awesome. We get you know 50,000 miles plus out of each set. Uh, this is a 37 1250 22. I think this is a 1350 22. So again, phenomenal setup. It's going to be great for her over uh, east. The wheels aren't going to get all messed up. They're flat black, pretty easy to deal with. Okay. Next setup is a 35 1250 22. Now we get into the compression Ford series. This is where, again, don't mark my words if I'm uh, wrong, but it should be um, a forged barrel and a cast face, if I remember correctly, where they put it on there and they stretch the wheel. It's a whole compression idea and stretch. So this wheel. I got nothing bad to say about them. I put a set of these on, on 40s, which are back there, which I'll show you in a minute so you guys can see those too. Um, on 40s, on my big truck in the 24, didn't balance them, zero vibration. These wheels are as round as it gets, the quality is as high as it gets. Um, these are personally one of my favorite wheels. These are an Axe, I think they're, they're 2.0s, um, gloss black and milled. Absolutely love the wheels. And if you can't tell from wheel to wheel, there are shallow caps like this one. See those two are shallow over there. And then there's a deep cap version like this. So it just depends on which ones you order. So on to the next wheel. This is the new setup for my dad's red and black 7.3. Another compression forge wheel. Um, these are brushed. These are brand new tires. They just hit the market. We'll talk about those in a sec. But anyways, compression forged. These are brushed. I, I mean, these are probably one of my favorite wheels with the way they look. I mean, they almost have like a rainbowy color look to them when you look at them in the sun and stuff like that. So. 24 by 12, okay, price up here. I missed out on those, but whatever, I'll fit it in somehow. 24 by 12, Axe 6.1s, so they're brushed, okay. This is a 37, 1350, 24 Recon Grappler. Brand new tire, I'm not sure when they hit the market, but I didn't hear about it until about a week ago when we got our first set on these now. Um, they look aesthetically pleasing. Uh, the rubber is very, very nice, it feels good. Um, Nitto just doesn't make a bad tire. And these look very aggressive. The sidewall's awesome. I really like the sidewall. Um, and if you want to pan to the other side as well, it's another good choice for sidewall. So, I mean, I like the front. It looks a little more aggressive. So the sidewall is more my style. Um, so that's why I went out with that one. My dad's kind of on the same feel. He actually wanted to run trail grapplers, but he couldn't find a set um, in his size that are actually available. So 24 by 12, 37, 13, 50, 24. Axe 6.1s, brushed. Okay, so where we went here, just to back up a little bit, more affordable on the first three. Those are cast options, okay? Then we jump to compression forged, more expensive. Okay, and now we are going to the most expensive, forged wheels. Now, these are dirty, because I already ran these on my truck for a little bit. Um, this is a 22 by 12 Axe AF6s. So these are on a 37, 13, 50, 22 trail grappler. Again, love the trail grapplers. I run them on damn near everything that I can. Um, 22 by 12s, they look really good. The other, like, not like some other companies like American Force, um, these pockets are actually polished. So the, the time spent and the quality on these wheels is, is literally unbeatable. You literally just can't beat it. So um, I really like this setup, it's very, overall good um, 
super clean setup, not super my liking because it's you know not as big not as big of a wheel, not as big of a lip and such, but it's very clean. I would have ran this about a year ago. What? Is he in a rock? Drop. Can you not just go somewhere for like five minutes so I can take this video? <laughs> my lord. Anyways, these are going on my mom's truck once we get it built. Um, it's gonna be that purple uh, that like you guys have seen. It's gonna be nasty with these wheels on. Our final wheel and tire. This is the shit of the shit. 26 by 14 AF6s, floating caps. Them bitches spin though. On a 40, 15, 50, 26 Nitto Trail Grapple. This is a new setup for the Burgundy truck. Um, I absolutely dig them. They got a good amount of sidewall still, but they look really good. Obviously, you guys can probably see the difference in size between the 22, 37, and the 26, 40. So, um, again, here's a brand new wheel out of the box. You can see this one. It's been sitting back there for a couple days, but it is, the polishing is insane. They polish all the pockets. They, they get it all done. And then obviously, you see the floaters we've got here. So, pretty sick. Full spin. They are nasty. So, Really excited about that. Going back up with the dirty red truck. That's its new name. Because it's burgundy, it's literally just a dirty red. So it's, it's dirty red, because now that truck's name. That way we can stop referring to it as the big truck or the burgundy truck. It's the dirty red truck. So those are going in. It's gonna be on a certain size lift, not sure. Bigger than last time with those 40s. So, but those wheels are legit. I am super excited about that setup. So. I mean, I'm 6'8", I have massive hands, and my hand is nothing compared to these. So if she wants to pan back a little bit, you can see the width difference from this side over here, how much difference in width these two tires are. So 1350 to 1550, big difference. You can go ahead and pan the dog eating the tire and looking cute in front of my dad's wheels. Great job, Goose, you look amazing. Love it. You're the cameraman. You run the show, dude. You run the show. He's like, hell yeah, I do. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go over here real quick. Hold oh, one second. I'm sorry, I have to. Oh, sorry, I had to spend those real quick. You just got to do it. So if y'all remember so the 78 Cummins swap, uh, 24 valve P pump conversion, cam injectors, turbo, all the good work, six speed. Um, Gabe Farrell's probably going to buy this truck. When it gets finished, if it ever gets finished, uh, we'll see. Hopefully, he buys it before Whistle Diesel does to try and destroy it. But these are my old 40s off my big, oh, off my big red truck. No, off the dirty red truck. Uh, these are 4024s. Again, this is a compression forge line. These are 6.0s. I love this setup. Absolutely loved it. But the minute that we were getting this truck back in the works to get on the road, I had to get my 40s on it because we literally built this truck for 40s. So it's on 05 axles, full of springs. Fully fabricated, everything's legit. Did it forever ago, but it still looks awesome. Um, everything literally is painted in the engine bay. Everything's final. Everything on the truck is jammed. Uh, the fenders, everything. Here, I'll clean this off a little bit. Oh, you have my phone. Where's your phone at? You can see the color. You can see it on the camera. I'm not sure. It's a tri-coat white. It's, it's pretty nasty. Ooh. Yeah, so there's the white. Um, and then the blue, so obviously it's going to be two-tone. It's also a tri-coat. Still dirty, but yeah. Anyways, you get, you get the gist of it. So basically this truck from this body line up, so from this part of the cab up, or you want to call it this body line up will be the blue, and this body line down will be that white. So like I said, everything's already jammed and ready to go. The inside of the doors are fully painted on the pedals and everything. And I just got to rewire it because we obviously went from a uh, standard cab to a crew cab. So... And then I gotta cut the hole in the floorboard for the shifter since this, this truck was not a stick from the factory like the other one was. So, but yeah, those are the 40s. Gabe, if you're watching this, which you probably won't, but if you are, um, start saving, my guy. Because uh, this thing's gonna be insane and you better, you better get to, uh, those dollar bills out. You know what I'm saying? Um, here's the rest of those 33s, the rest of my mom's wheels, the rest of the 35s. Um, this is the new interior for my dad's 7.3, red and black one. We actually found Lariat Outlaw interior, the red and black. Stuff's in mint condition. It's a little dirty, but just from sitting. 
super sick. So we're excited to get that in there when we get his truck back on the road. Um, the engine's sitting over there on a stand, finally built, ready to go. Uh, there's some 37 22s out there that don't have wheels yet. Let's go this way. More axe, 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 axe. First of all, Josh, if you're watching this, you're the shit. Frank, you're my guy. You guys are awesome. Best customer service in the entire industry. Bill Blue Truck's getting another paint job. So obviously you guys know, I haven't posted the reveal video of Cutler seeing his truck yet. You will see this video first, but this is his truck. Here's the red wheels we're putting on it. Another set, 37, 1350-22 trail grapplers. Absolutely love them, great tires. And these are the Axe 1.6s, I believe. I'm not sure actually, it might be 1.4s. 1, 1. I don't know, let's look it up. But anyways, they're candy red, 22 by 12s. Super awesome wheels. Let's just see real quick. Now look at that, that's secrets. Okay. Let's see. Compression series. Axe one series. They are 1.2s. I was wrong both ways. But yeah, they're the 1.2s. So pictures don't really give you a great idea of color. So that one over there shows you how vibrant the actual candy color is. Um, so another set of I just thought I'd show you guys Axe everything in here because Axe is the best wheels made. So. Anyways, yeah, we got a lot of work to do on this thing still. Full color match, newer mirrors, taillights, all that crap. Actually, we put a newer tailgate on at home already. Uh, his birthday was the other day. So we surprised him with this 2016 tailgate we've had sitting here for about three years. It's the same color, we didn't have to paint it. Put it on the truck, it looks absolutely amazing. Just the line of the tailgate, those years are the best. So we still have to do a custom color match emblem for here. Uh, color match tailgate handle, obviously. Um, do a couple things like that, paint the bumpers. You guys will see the whole process. Uh, you guys look up there, we got another set of 22 by 12 Axe 6.0s. And we got another set of 22 by 12 Forge ones. Both those sets are for sale if you guys are interested. Uh, brand new in the box. And then we can run outside real quick. Basically tapering off the video here to show you guys the last setup. Um, but yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and the tenth setup is outside actually 11 i forgot sierra trucks here too so huh but it's gonna be dark but i'm just gonna try and get you to let you guys see these because these wheels are new from axe they just came out i don't know probably two months ago now um so no not a ton of people have them and they were super uh low quantity holy cow so let's go check those out real quick they are on the amarillo um i haven't posted that video yet you guys will see it I'm building the standard cab Amarillo. That will be soon too. I just gotta get all these videos edited. But uh, we can go check it out. So, these are 24 by 12s. Axe Cronus. Gloss black and mill. They just came out. I personally love the flow of them. One of my favorite setups I've ever had. Uh, which obviously I have come to favorites, but they're a little dirty, but those things are absolutely sick really really like them um these are nitto trail wrapper g2s again nitto just does the best tires they make the best sizes so it's a 325 45 24 totally squared off covers the lip of the wheel it's all safe here um and they got good tread on they last a very long time so i'm a huge fan of that but yeah this is going to be the amarillo standard cab uh, I'll, I'll, you guys will see a video of me putting these wheels and tires on and kind of transform a little bit and stuff from what it was so that's that for now. That's a lot of axe wheels. There's another set of my girlfriend's truck out there, but we don't need to go look at those because they're only uh, 20 by 12, 35. Super full. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's that? Huh. You guys will figure it out soon. <laughs> so, that about does it. Um, it's a few good setups for you guys to see. A few, more like a lot, but just some wheel and tire setups you guys to see. Uh, if you want, real quick, we can compare. I mean, heights and such, if, I mean, if you're interested, I mean, 40, 37, pretty big difference. 37, 22, 40, 26. What's our time at? Uh, 16 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys, if you've been here this long. 35 <laughs> and a 40. <laughs> 35, 22, 40, 26. 26 is a 40. 
Big fan. Trucks from me way jacked up again. Uh, I bought a 7.3. I'll, I'll get that video out as well. <laughs> Got a lot of stuff going on. Um, so the 6.0 is going, I'm, gonna, I'm saying this lightly, full show truck, the dirty red truck. Um, it's not going to be powder coated frame. It's not going to be a $40,000 lift kit, but it's going to be my version of a show truck that still is functional and can do stuff. Um, like if these wheels and tires, I can still take it off road. I still got a ton of sidewall for my liking. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to touch a curb and destroy the wheel. Um, so yeah, there you go. A bunch of ax wheels, different setups. There's a the new setup for the red truck. Pretty exciting. Dirty red truck. The DR doctor. Um, and yeah, I got tons of videos coming out. Amarillo stand, single cab, 7.3. Don't zoom in on the 7.3. Don't even know which one it is yet. That's a 6.7 I just bought for $75,000. It has uh, seven turbos on it, I think. It's twin turbo, but there's seven of them. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Just hit that. What the hell is that? Oh. <laughs> My God.